My name is Ursula Rasul, and what you're about to witness is the journey of martial arts. For me, this capstone is very personal as I have a self passion towards fighting. And yes, I, I'm more into jiu-jitsu side, but self-defense, I feel like knowing people that have actually gotten harassed, like teaching them self-defense and so people in the future wouldn't be harassed in that sense, is kind of personal to me because I've known people who've been in bad situations. And doing this project, not only am I doing this as a project sense, it's also beneficial towards people I'm teaching. My goal was basically creating this program, a four-week program at PM, where I personally would teach them a self-defense program. So the process was basically I had to talk to administrators and ask them for equipment. And I did this by um, texting peers that I knew and um, uh, higher ups, such as Mr. Kid. I texted him about it. I was like, do you have space? And then I also, um, being a yo bro, new girl, I had connections, so I asked them for equipment. And I actually was able to get mats and boxing equipment as well. With all my heart, I deeply do want the people who learn from this program to actually use it for a greater purpose. Because at the end of the day, yes, it's kind of like mixed martial arts, cool, people find it cool, but it was also necessary as in dire, in dire situations, you do end up getting hurt or captured. At least you know how to defend yourselves. inspired me to do this project was um, I was with Yobo Yo Girls, so it's basically an organization that looked forward to helping youth. And with the program that I was with in Yo Girl, it basically taught me all the martial arts that I'm teaching now. And then seeing the community that was built and the skills that people learned throughout this program, and which was also for free, I was inspired to do this for others, especially in our school. And then. The goals I set for this was basically doing this for a community, creating a community like Yobro, had, Yobro and Yogo had created for me, and then doing it for others, especially like classmates. So I usually asked around in my class. And then I other goals I had was at least have six to 10 students in my class, and was at least teach them a mix of Judo, Jiu Jitsu, wrestling, and boxing, which in a four week program of May only. A lot of the moves that I taught were quite simple moves. And many people may see them as, oh, like, these are basic things. But I feel like these moves were necessary to teach in such a short week because the, even the basics, to get them right, you need to practice it. So that was my hope. I also did demonstrate um, complex moves, but I did that further along in the program. I was able to at least get in a lot of chokeholds, um, how to get away from chokeholds, flips, different kinds. I put a little bit of mix in everything, but my main was to at least also have them practice. So I actually did have like time for them to review everything and I would ask them to show me and demonstrate what they remember from the past. And my last couple of days of the class was just for them to review because for me in this program, the biggest thing was, yes, I'm teaching you, but I want you to also get something out of it. And I don't want it to be so rushed in me teaching them something new that I gave them these review days to learn from. So my mentor was actually the coach who, teach, uh, who taught me during Yo Bro Yo Girl. Uh, she's a really nice person. She was op wide open to helping me. And then I contacted her through calling her or texting her. We often Zoomed sometimes. And the questions I'd ask her would, like I'd ask her like, is my form okay? Like is the format okay? Like what should, else should I add? And she kind of guided me through um, medical information that I should have added over there. I feel like I gained leadership skills in a sense because during those four years I had to end up teaching the classes that I was in before so I learned how to like deal with classes and help them out. I also became more confident I saw that in myself before I wasn't like before right now I'm sitting here talking to you guys I don't think I would be able to do that before four years ago. This capstone was able to incite me on what I'm, I'm capable of by 
saying that yes, I actually did have trouble teaching the class, but in the same time, at the end, I was able to teach them something, and I feel like that grew my confidence. As now, I have respect of these participants that participated, and I was able to teach them. And the fact that they didn't leave this class with nothing, they actually did learn the moves I taught them, and I'm quite proud of them as well because I actually saw a big change in, at a big change with them from the beginning to the end. There was actually、um, one participant that was struggling to fight at the beginning, and I had noticed that a lot. But at the end, they I think almost used all the moves that I taught them, and did eventually win their fights as well. What I cope with is not focusing on the state I'm in, focusing that, like I want at the end, like the end conclusion, like I want to win this, you know. No, I don't want to hurt the person. I don't want to do something bad, but I want to get out of this position. I'm not focusing. Oh, I'm getting like claustrophobic. I have legs around me. I don't know what to do. I'm not focusing that. That I'm focusing. Okay, what what? Like I'm checking. I have a checklist in my head.、Uh, can I do guillotine? Can I do another move? Can I do an armbar? Can I go on mount? Like what can I do at this position at this time to win? I feel like yes, they know the basics to get through this.、Um, I'm actually quite proud of my students. I've seen them fight, and they've actually like le- used the move that I've taught them. They've done like guillotine. I've seen people do the judo throws that I've taught them. And I feel like now that they know how to do this, especially with their friends, because they're more competitive. You know, like oh, I want to like beat you up, and they're more free in doing this. I feel like if it's another attacker, they'll be shocked knowing that they actually know these self-defense moves, and they'll be able to defend themselves. And that's honestly what I hope for them. <laughs> Use your legs. Come on. Yes. Get up. Push down. Push down. Push him into the wall. Six.